What's up my beautiful people? How are you doing? Uh, welcome to yet another video of uh, your guy Sean Traveller and uh, guys behind me that is the famous uh, backpackers the veterinary uh, East Africa's number one hostel so yeah so there is uh, where I'll be staying for three days I'll try and uh, find a way of uh, doing a video of that place because I know most of you don't know how hostels looks like because personally I didn't know how uh, hostels do look like I had a I had a vision of my mind of uh, maybe uh, sharing a room with uh, about 10 people but when I came here um, that was different because now we're sharing a room with uh, 18 people 18 fucking people yeah though there are rooms that have uh, 8 uh, 10 but there's actually no difference because uh, well living in a in a place with 16 people and living in a place with 10 people there's no difference but the prices differ a little bit so i got myself a room uh, where we are uh, 18 people in that room which is uh, it's okay for, it's okay for me because you know uh, when you start this traveling thing you have to prepare yourself uh, uh, to meet people different uh, people from different cultures people from different countries and you must uh, find a way of uh, engaging with them because that's how you get to learn you know traveling is all about learning cultures so I'm glad um, I'm staying there and I'm glad I'll meet a bunch of people uh, people are actually nice uh, say hi to uh, to the people who are staying there it's, it's a form of showing etiquette yeah so uh, one of the things that uh, uh, got me uh, one of the things that I find uh, a bit uh, challenging is uh, uh, the one that you share a room with uh, people of different genders it's normal to people who are here but it's something that I have never experienced so it was a uh, kind of shock for me you know so uh, that is something I have to learn how to deal with they don't allow uh, uh, filming in the, in, the, in, the, in the facility but I'll try a way of uh, getting a few pics here and there uh, just for you guys to have a great uh, have a an idea of how hostels do look look like and uh, the amount of money I paid uh, for for the three days I paid uh, so yeah I have paid a total of 4,500 Kenya shillings which is approximately uh, 30 dollars uh, for the three nights that I'm going to stay here so uh, it's the price is fair because uh, there are other amenities that you can find that place there's a bar over there there's a pool there are tennis tables there are there's so many things there's so many activities and uh, people there are quite friendly so you if you want to play a game you can just ask ask somebody politely for you to play with them or yeah there's free wi-fi there's a uh, there's a lot of activities you can do over there and also guys there's also a beach and it's a walking distance because you see right behind me is where the backpacker is and uh, over there is where we get to the road and if you cross that road to the other side is where you find the beach
wow, wow, wow. Guys, look at this. Quite beautiful, yeah. So, guys, I don't think I'm going to show you uh, the beach, the beach for today, because I think there's high tide today. So, uh, there's no place for me to uh, walk as I do my videos. So, I have to make a U-turn from there. So, change of plans. So, guys, I think I'm hungry. So, why don't you take me? I have my dinner or lunch or whatever, whatever you may wish to call it. So I'm going to board a tuk-tuk. They are one of the common uh, common means of transport here. It's cheap, and uh, since it's a three-legged motor, is it a motor vehicle? Three-legged, whatever. Since it's three-legged, it can maneuver the rough terrain of our roads in uh, here in the in the country. Most of our roads are not are not, are not tarmacked, so they are one of the one of the motor vehicles or so small motors that can maneuver inside our bad roads for the motorbikes they are quite expensive so people don't actually use them much so people actually do prefer using uh, tuk-tuks to motorbikes so guys uh, this is the stage I'm going to uh, board a tuk-tuk to Kunda. So I'll just show you a little bit about. Uh, I'll just show you a little bit around Kunda, and then uh, after that, take you to where you can get one of your best local food. Best, not best, but actually uh, where you can get uh, local food when you're here. Check the 
video but I'll do a little bit of uh, talking so enjoy the video So guys, I'm in uh, this other side of Diani Beach. This is uh, the Okunda side. So as you can see, this place actually has got a lot of uh, traffic as compared to the other side. And I can see uh, there's a restaurant over there. I think it's a nice restaurant. I am not sure, but I've, I think I should try. Or maybe just walk you guys to the other side so you can see how Okunda is. So uh, one thing I've came to realize about uh, 
traveling is that uh, mostly people don't show uh, the bad sides of a place. Mostly people do show us uh, the good, uh, the good or the sweet views of a place. Uh, but and failing to show us the real, the other side of the of the of the, of the, of the good place. Because uh, like Okunda, uh, most people do always show us uh, the Diani Beach, but nobody do show us uh, how Okunda Okunda as a town really looks like. It. Guys, this is the real Okunda. People who work at the beach stay here. So, uh, and uh, something funny is uh, that the name Okunda by itself is not uh, known uh, globally, but the name Diani Beach is known globally. And it's just the same thing. Diani Beach and Okunda is just the same thing. It's just that Okunda is. Uh, is uh, this other part that people who live, uh, people who work in Diani Beach, truly, it's like uh, a servant's quarters for Diani, for Diani Beach. So Diani Beach is the one that we always go with the glory, but this side, nobody always shows us this side. But it's a place that you need to see, you need to uh, come and experience. And actually nice place to visit because you get to you get to see life differently when you're in this place and when you're in that other place so guys just see even the kind of businesses that are here are the small business ones there are no big hotels there are big uh, big uh, restaurants there are big uh, guest houses but this other side just a small, the small uh, businesses that are going on, and uh, it's more like a slum. Uh, not slum per se, but it's more of a, a place that is still growing. So, as you can see, the road is full of tuk-tuks, which I said again is uh, the common means of transport in this place. It's a cheap way of moving here, but uh, it also has its advantages because most accidents that do happen in this place are mainly caused by the tuk tuk. I can say it's not a safe place. This uh, Okunda side, the beach, the beach side is a bit safe, but uh, this side is not safe as, uh, as, as, as I've been told by uh, residents from this place. So you can see people doing their businesses as usual. Well. A small furniture shop. There's a hardware over here. This is a furniture palace. That's how it's called, furniture palace. Oh, okay.
So guys, uh, there's a restaurant over there. So I just want to try and see what they have to offer. And see if they do have uh, local food. I don't know how the food tastes like, but I'm gonna try it either way. Yeah, so let's see what they have. Yeah, guys, so this is the local pilau. Nigerians do call it the jollof. In Kenya, we do call it the pilau. So this is just rice with the beef. This is banana, this is called kachumbari. Just a mix of tomato and the onions. Yeah, that's basically it. So guys, let me just enjoy this meal and uh, see you after I'm done. This place is so hot. This is what I have bought for my stay here. I hope it will be enough. Yeah, and it's very dark, so I'll have to end my video from here. Uh, so, guys, uh, see you till next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, bye bye. See you.